Good morning. So I am feeling <clears throat> a whole lot better. I feel like my voice even sounds better from yesterday. Um, I think my sore throat has kind of uh, whittled out. Hopefully, is whittle a word? Probably not. Anyway, um, so it's really rainy here today, and it's really cold. And so I had o I used to eat oatmeal every day. Last year, it was like a every day I had oatmeal because mostly my sister loves oatmeal and my mom makes the best oatmeal I have ever ate in my life. Eaten, ate, whatever. Um, I, seriously, it's like crack. She, I don't know how she does it, but she, I've tried to like do the same thing that she does, but it just doesn't come out. And it, it's almost like you can eat it hot and then if you put it in the fridge, you can eat it cold, you don't have to reheat it. Put it with some ice cream and it tastes like a dessert. It is so good. Um, but I am eating oatmeal today, but I made my own, um, you know, because mom's not here. And also, I like to make my own oatmeal as well because I like to experiment and put things in it and see what's good and see what I'm feeling like. The best thing about oatmeal is open up your fridge and see what you want to put in it. Or you can eat it plain, totally up to you. I, I, I was in the fridge just, you know, earlier. I prepared the oatmeal, as you can see. So easy. I mean, you take oats. You can get fancy oats, like uh, the Irish oats, or you can get steel cut oats, depending on the different texture you want. But if you're going for simple, right here, you don't get more simple than this. Half a cup of these, put it with a cup of water. Don't even put it on the stove. Too much work. Put it in the microwave. Two and a half minutes, and there you go. Um, you could also add milk to it if you want. But yeah, so I went through my fridge, and um, usually I always put banana in my oatmeal. It just like gets, it becomes really hearty and it's a really uh, good texture. Um, I really like hearty things, you know, when you like, you feel satisfied and full. I'm also going to add apple to it and I haven't really added, <clears throat> I haven't really added apple to my oatmeal. I usually just don't, honestly I get really lazy so if I see a full apple I don't feel like cutting it but uh, there are pre-cut apples in there. I'm just going to add them to the oatmeal. So I'm just going to cut a little more. Okay, there we go. Um, and this also bulks it up, you know, again with that uh, hardiness. I'm also going to add uh, peanut butter. Because pe honestly, peanut butter and anything, I mean, can you go wrong with peanut butter? No. You really, really can't. So, and then with the warm, you know, uh, the heat from the oatmeal, warms up the peanut butter so it just becomes extra creamy. Crunchy peanut butter is really good in oatmeal too. I'm going to add some cinnamon. There you go. Because I pretty much put cinnamon in everything. And then of course my flaxseed. Gotta get the omega-3s in there. And then one of the best things about this is the mushing. Just crunching it. Like I feel like I'm, I love when I can make foods and make, you know, a meal for myself where I feel like I'm concocting it. I don't know, I think that's like the little kid in me. When I was little, I always used to like play outside and make mud pies and stuff. Like just the mushiness and feel like you're concocting it. Um, but anyway, craisins and raisins and brown sugar and walnuts and almonds and, you know, all that good stuff can go in oatmeal. So... Give oatmeal a try because some people are turned off from oatmeal, but you can make it really good. I think actually I might try to um, make almost like a savory oatmeal and might put like some cheese in it and, you know, I won't put the sweetness of it, but I'll just use it, the grain, um, the oat of, and make it with cheese and maybe I'll add sauce. Maybe. I feel like I'm the only person that would actually um, attempt that. But when I do, I will let you guys know how it is. Alright, so take care, eat some oatmeal, or eat something really good, and I will see you guys later.